Welcome back to the basement yard and happy new year. <laughs> Woo! Happy new year, kid. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Happy goddamn new year. I didn't think this through. There's stuff everywhere. Now. <laughs> There's way more confetti than well, I thought there was going to be. But look where the star landed. Because I'm a star, baby. Come on oh, now. Man, that's that awesome. Right on my tongue. Wow. Um, wow. So this is a lot. It's another year, though. Another year. Another, you know. Another decade. Another time. I'm afraid to look in, to be honest with you. Another year. Another decade. Another Thankfully, de- the table caught most of it. Oh, yeah. Honest. Thank God. Um, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. That, that just actually made me a lot happier. Yeah, it did. It was very nice. We yeah. do have some stuff on the ceiling as well. Yeah, uh, that's, that's going to do? That stuff's going to stay fine. there probably until I move out of this goddamn place. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> There's no way I'm not going to be able to play with this stuff now. Though. That's the only thing. I'm going to tell you this right now. As soon as we finish recording this, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, you take yeah. care of that. I'll start. I'll start. You finish. How's that? But yeah. yeah. No, uh, um, where's my water? I got to hydrate, you know? A little dehydrated today? Yeah. Look at that. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, you know? It's, um, a, it's another year. Another is year it actually, it's yard. not the New Year today, is it? No, it's um, in a couple of days, it'll be 2020. Yeah. No, no, no. Today's, today's this is dropping on the 30th. So, oh, yeah, two days. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, right. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Yes. I, I forget that all the time. Though. That's how I know any days yeah. of, the, of the year because of that. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. And then also February, which when I'm born has, I don't even know how many days, 28, 29, it changes. And we talked, when you're born on the 28th, or I mean, if you're born on the 29th on a leap year, you pick, right? 28th or the 1st of March. No, I would just tell people I was like four yeah. or whatever. The I fuck. would too. If it's not my birthday, it's not my fucking birthday. It's not my birthday. This is not my day. Yeah. Fuck you. I want my leap year day. I want to be four. <laughs> I want to be four. I want to be a four-year-old boy. When you're four, you're one. When you're 16, you're four. And that's all the math I decided to do. Yeah, I was going right to say now. how old you would have to be to like drink. You probably have to be like 120 years old. Pro- that, that's probably false. That's that's very false. I think you have to be 84. Hey, listen. Yes, 84. All right. Man, the, I, the, I never claim to be a math whiz. Yeah, I know. I know you're not. Don't you know worry about it. No one was expecting that. I don't think anybody does. You got any New Year's resolutions you want to tell us about? Yeah, do some that I didn't do this year. What's that? Um, one was uh, join a gym. I joined the gym. I just never went to it. Technically, you did. You did it. You yeah, stuck to your resolution. Yeah, you know what? I did. You, you, I you did. Went, I wanted to sign up for a gym. You signed up for a gym. That's that's. You true. did it. You I'm, didn't go. There was no. There was no. You know. Maybe there was no fine print about going. Yeah, yeah. I donated money to a gym, basically. Good. Yeah. Good for them. They could buy a nice machine with yeah, all that money. Yeah. So uh, I did that. You're helping ha- out the city. But I have like weirder resolutions this year. Like you have weird ones. Yeah. Like everyone's like, yo, I want to like go to the gym or like I want to, you know, read more or like I want to, you know, whatever. Usual shit, right? Yeah. I want to like do stuff like, like I want to bottle feed a lion or a tiger cub this year you want to be with exotic animals yeah like i want to feed them and give them milk from a bottle and do that that's Mm -hmm. one of them right something with animals something with animals another one with animals too is we talked about it too i want to artificially inseminate some kind of animal this year i want to help reproduce animals where is this coming from i don't know just i want to think outside the box you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. i want to try and learn a new language which one? Italian. Okay. But I'll probably settle for Spanish because it's more useful. Yeah, it's way more useful. And I know more of it. So yeah. I'm going to try and learn Spanish. This how are you planning about how you, how you doing that? Rosetta Stone. You probably do really well because I heard that children's minds, like, they soak up like a sponge. Yeah, like, you're yeah. You're not really that, you know, developed over there. So you'll probably get a language done in probably like a month or two. Mm hmm. No, there's not, yeah, there's not much good going on upstairs. No, no, no. So I'm going to try and do that. Which probably won't happen, but I'm going to try. Mm-hmm. I actually ordered Rosetta Stone. Did you? Yeah. I'm going to give it a real shot. Is Rosetta Stone like a real thing? Like, is it like, is, is there a Apparently, stone? No, is there a stone? Is there an actual rock? Yes, that's what comes with it. Yeah, but what? Wait, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is one time where, oh man, this is embarrassing. But there was one time. So obviously, you know, Rosetta Stone, it helps people learn a new language. Yeah, but who the fuck is Rosetta Stone, though? This bitch just knows mad languages. First of all, I want to say this. I want to be on record that I thought Rosetta Stone was something that was created by Rosa Parks when I was younger. Don't know why. Different. Rosa Parks, still a great woman. Got a lot done, but 
Not the language stuff. Rose- Rosetta's tone, maybe you thought it was. A roses, you know. Rose's tone. Rose's tone. Rose's tone. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, so I tried to make a connection there. Then one time I found this rock in my house that was in a desk in my in my uh, parents' room, and uh, I, I was like, oh my god, I think this is Rosetta's stone because there was a bunch of words on it, but they were in different. It was in a different language, so I thought this was the stone. So you thought that. Let me get this straight. Let me try. To I thought there was a Someone stone. Someone sends you a stone and you learn a language by reading a rock. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I couldn't even tell you. I just thought it was like a, you know, a mythical stone <laughs> that my parents somehow had. Why do people collect stones? I don't know. Like some people just have stones in their house. It's like, what are we doing? Dude, one time I had this crush on this girl, right? Uh-huh. And I was really sad because she was going to Greece for the summer. Damn. Yeah. I hate when that happens. But she went to Greece, and when she's on her way back, she was like, I got you something. And I was like, oh, man, what is it? So she finally gets back. It's like this big moment. I'm like, oh, I'm finally seeing this girl again. And I'm outside my house, and and she's like, here. It was a rock. And I was like, Was it a cool rock, though? It was in the shape of a heart. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of nice. I mean, she built up this gift, so I wasn't really expecting a heart-shaped rock. And how old were you? I was like 16. Yeah, you're expecting a boy gift. I'm like, expecting something. Like some Greek video game that's like only legal over there. Or some lingerie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some lingerie. Yeah. Some lingerie. When do girls start buying lingerie? Not at 16. Right? Probably not. And definitely not in Greece in 16. You know what I mean? Also, why no, would she maybe, give maybe, that to me? Probably maybe more in Greece. Yeah, why would she give you underwear? I don't know. Maybe she wanted me to see how I looked in it. <laughs> I thought it would look pretty nice. Would you ever try a thong on? i try a thong on. I'd be spilling out. I would tell you that right now. What, like a man thong. What, like the would one that goes over like, your neck? No, 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 no. Like a man thong, like it, there's enough like banana hammock there. To wear it? To wear it. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd do it. Would you do it on camera? Absolutely not. And I wouldn't No I'm not filming that either I'm not putting you In a fucking banana hammock Hey listen I, I made the offer I didn't even offer But I did No man Alright I kind of have already You need it to uh, Yeah I mean you, We've put that yeah. Fucking mess on display <laughs> That big old meat mess Fucking proud of it I'm proud of that Fucking <laughs> car accident it, it looked like two meat trucks Just fucking Collided on the highway Going 80 and then she's like fall in this with a dick pinned it pinned in between it. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's a, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. No, um But yeah, that was you know, shout out to her. You yeah, know, she got me I a rock. Like, Yo, you I kept it. I kept it. Yeah, it's nice. You know, I didn't nice and, and I didn't go like what? what? I didn't do that. I was just kinda like in my mind, I was like, damn, dude, like I thought this was gonna be like a fucking you know, something it's, that flies that I can like remote control or something. I just I <laughs> Something gas powered. Yeah, dude. So, something yeah. I got to charge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give me something that I got to plug into the wall. Don't give you, me a rock. What'd you say when you got it? I said, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> she gave me it and I go, oh, what is it? And she goes, it's a rock. I found it in, in Greece. And I was like, oh. And she goes, yeah, it's shaped like a heart. Aww. And then I was like, oh, that's, that's. And then I, you know, I just like, you know, I gave her a hug and like probably kissed her forehead. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw that in movies and shit. Yeah, yeah. Forehead kisses are big. Yeah, I don't know what's what's up with girls. Like when you kiss them on the forehead, they just like they lose control. I'm a big forehead kiss guy. Yeah, I'm a, I like kissing foreheads. Yeah, it's great. It's a little pretentious. I feel like I like yeah, yeah. Give me a forehead. Yeah, give me a little kid, yeah. little sport. I think it's, that's like a safety kiss. You know, it's like a sanctity kiss. Yeah. You know, it's like, Jack Dawson had one of the best forehead kisses of all time. That's what I'm saying. When like, they were going down, when the ship was going down, it was it was Rose, it was Jack, and it was that random chef. Oh, that guy that got ping ponged. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. They went down into the water together. Oh, that one. Yeah, it's like what's happening? <laughs> it's like hold on, Rose. Yeah. One, two. <coughs> Whoa, you saw that? That was powerful too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he kissed her forehead right before they went into the Arctic, freezing, cold water. You know what I'm saying? You ever see that they did like scientific experiments to see if Jack could fit on the door or not? Yeah. He could fit. He could have fit. That goddamn bitch. You know, there he goes. That's that's James Cameron's fault. That that's true. That's just that's just lazy editing. Actually, that's the prop team. 
Let's yeah. get a smaller door in here. Yeah. Or get a Midas Let's cut this thing in half. Yeah. Make him unbelievable. Don't make it arguable that he could have got on there. That's what ruins Titanic for me. It's ruined. Oh, it's not ruined. Well, you're disgusting for thinking it's ruined. It's ruined. No, man. I had that bitch on VHS, Titanic. Yeah, and, on I the, and I always remember the second tape of the VHS when you plug it in, right? You put it into the machine and it plays. The first scene in the second tape was the dude, her husband, slapping the dog shit out of her <laughs> in that suite. Billy Zane? Billy Zane. Billy Zane. Fucking Zane's... slapped the fire out this bitch, dude. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. That's a hot way to start off a tape, though. What's him? What's him? Your whole, what does he call her? Like a gutter rat or something. <clears throat> I was like, damn, dude, that was a rich-ass fucking diss. Calling someone a gutter rat? Is... Or like a whore. He's like a whore, gutter rat. You gutter rat whore. Yeah, and those idiots playing the, the fucking violin. Dude, how much do you love the violin? No, nah, that's suck? my favorite scene in the whole movie, dude. Oh, that'll make me cry for sure. It's like, dude, I'm going to stay. Let's play. Let's go. Let's just die playing this. I wonder if that, there's any truth to that. Yeah, it's 100% true. That the fuck... I mean, from what people's accounts were, that really happened. That wasn't like something that got added... For like, let's all cry now. I'd be, t- I'd be kind of mad. Like, I don't know. I don't really like music in, in situations like that. You know what I'm saying? If my life's on the line, stop playing music. Yeah, but like, in that situation, you probably don't even hear the music. You're just like fucking frantic as shit. When I'm really scared boat. and like frantic, and people are so cool that they're just playing the violin, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you guys don't see what's going on here. Yeah, you guys, you know the ships sinking to yeah. the bottom of the ocean people are dying people are freezing to death yeah and you're playing fucking bach in a minor yeah what What's are you doing on? put the put the beethoven to bed bud get in a boat is it beethoven or beethoven it looks like beethoven it looks like beethoven up and batch yeah batch yeah yeah sebastian sebastian wait what's his name what's bach's name sebastian no sebastian bach was like a lead singer or some pa- band i think sebastian bach yeah I don't know his name. I yeah. don't know Bach's name. They all had weird names back then. I don't get it. Yeah, I wish one of their names were just like Fat Pussy. But like, it, it sounded like Fat Pussy, but it was said differently. Like, spelled differently. Like, for fatu- like, Pussy. Like, a classic for Pussy piece. But it was spelled it like Fat Pussy. Like, Beethoven's like, you don't even know. What's his first name? Also, when you ask someone, when you hear Beethoven, what do you think of? The dog. I think of the dog. I think of the dog. The big old fucking St. Bernard, man. Yeah. Slobbing all over the kids, saving the day. There's some fucking danger there. And then wasn't there like uh, Beethoven's like big comeback or something? Yeah, he, he had, had like a, a family. He, yeah, he had he had a, a main thing that he was fucking and yeah. like making babies with. Big babies. And she was a she was a St. Bernard too, right? She was a big old thick girl. When you breed St. Bernards, you just get big fuckers. Thick bitch. Yeah, you get yeah. big old babies. I would love to have a St. Bernard. Or like a Bernie's Mountain Dog. What's Bernie's that? Mountain oh, yeah. Dog. Those big. Huge. Yo. Mad big. Yeah. Mad cute puppies, too. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I could talk about dogs literally all day. Yeah. I, all I can think about right now is cleaning this up, though. Yeah, no. At some point, we will. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, some, some, somewhere in the next four months, we'll clean it up. For sure. I think if we bring the trash bin over and just like, like do this. There's just so many pieces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the floor. I don't even think you can Roomba this either. No. This isn't Roomba, Roomba a bull. Don't hurt yourself there, buddy. Yeah. Uh, another one <laughs> I have for 2020, I want to go to another country. Okay. Um, I don't care where it is. I got to go. Have you been to Canada? Not in a long time. But that means you've been there. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just saying like. Do, have I crossed Canada? Oh, you're saying have I crossed Canada off like the the list here? Yeah, yeah, it's it's crossed. It's crossed. It's crossed. Yeah. Um, another one that I had was I wanted to break a world record, and I was thinking about the one that we were talking about stacking butt, uh, stacking butts. Oh, you got stack stacking Hot Wheels on my ass. Now, when when they say stacking Hot Wheels on your ass, do they mean on top of each other or just on your ass? Just like you could do it uh, across. parallel across your ass. And how many was it? Th- it very doable. It was like 18 or something. And I watched the, the world record, and I was like, this guy doesn't have the ass that I have, and I'm going to set that record in 2020. Yeah. I need to be a, a world record holder in 2020. You it know what? It has to happen. I'm going to add that to my list. 
you want to be a world record holder. I want to hold a world record. Yeah. I say we break some world records. Yeah. And and we, for reals this time. Yeah. We have the guy in the suit show up with a stopwatch yeah. or whatever he yes. needs. He's got a yes. clipboard. Yes. And he, and he hands me a fucking plaque that says, you have put the most cars on a human ass. Ever. You, ever. In the history of, of the ass world. And the history, in the history of toy cars. Yeah. No one in the world is better. Than stacking stuff on your ass. Yes. I'm in. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do a world record this year. I'm down. Point. I want to do one, but I don't know. I don't really have like a lot of like special stuff. Like you got that big special ass, mm. and I don't. Yes, I do. I don't have that. We can find something for you. I need. I need something. Like most pieces of baloney ever put on a penis. Maybe maybe that's just two because you know. <laughs> I put two because I think someone has put bologna on their dick before. Yeah, for sure. Just but I don't think they've stacked it. it. I could put like a pound of bologna on my shit. That's what I would like to say. Like maybe you could hold the most weight on your penis. You probably have to be hard though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I just stack bologna on my fucking flaccid ween? It's just me and Josh. One, two, <laughs> three, four. It'd be like that watermelon challenge. Yeah. I always wanted to do that. The one with the rubber bands. Oh, that thing? Yeah. You know what we have to do, which you should film? Uh, see if you could break a watermelon with your legs. Like, put it in between your legs and just, like, squeeze. I can crush anything in this canyon. Easily. Yeah? Yeah, I'll crush the shit out of you a watermelon. You kill a human with those? Yeah, easily. Not wow. e- Not easily, but pretty easy. I could kill a man, for sure. A small infant? Not even a question. Oh, I could kill an infant. Yeah. Dude, I've held babies' heads before and been like, you don't even know how close you are to just... You know what I mean? You crush their little heads. That's I'm a sick man. Yeah, I was just about to I'm say that. Person. I was like, that was a little dark. I I have I have random thoughts. That, remind, that reminded me of a very dark joke, but I'm not going to say it on here. Okay. It's, uh, now you're going to tell it? Uh, Nah, I'm not. How dark is it? It uh, involves a child molester. I'll just tell it. Well, now you yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, this is a friend of yours, the child molester. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. We haven't talked in many years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. Lost touch. Once I found out, yeah, it was over. Yeah. So the joke goes, um, a kid and a child molester are walking into the woods, and they're walking into the woods, and it's starting to get darker. You know, they're starting to get deeper, and it's starting to get colder. Yeah. And the kid goes, "Wow, Mister." I'm really scared. It's getting really dark out here. And the child molester looks at the kid and goes, you're scared. I got to walk out of here alone. (laughs) Damn. Yeah, it's a pretty bad joke. I mean, that's kind of more of like a murder thing. You could have made him a murderer. Yeah, I could have. But why'd you go molesting? Because that's that's usually what it is. It's darker. He, He needs like a, he needs a tone. Yeah. You know? I mean... You ever hear the joke? Here's the joke. I got it. I got one for you. <laughs> Let me hear it. All right. These are just jokes. I didn't make them. Yeah, yeah. I didn't make that one up either. All right. Here we go. Uh, a priest and a rabbi. Okay. All right. Are, Classic. Are walking down the street, and they see a little boy. <laughs> and the priest goes to the rabbi, hey, you want to fuck that kid? And the rabbi goes, out of what? So oh, good. Oh man. For those of you who don't know, because you're not, you know, you're not up on the the uh stereotypes. The of the anti anti Semitic stereotypes. People say that, you know. Jew, Jews are uh, there's some Jewish trickery <laughs> that goes on financially. Yes, financially. So uh You wanna fuck that kid? Out of, out of what? Oh god, it's so funny. Yeah. You know what's another one? We're gonna have better jokes in twenty twenty. Like less less dark ones. I, those are the only jokes that I really had. I know because the, the dark ones hit the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. What was that one about a guy throwing everybody off a boat? What? Uh, Who created the framing of that joke? Like, all right, so this, this, and this walk into a bar. It's like, I don't why, know. why do like ninety percent of jokes start that? I way? really hope that guy has royalties. Uh, yeah. No, you know, people I, out here just stealing your template. This one's like a racist white joke, though. It's a racist against whites? No, it's a racist against like a bunch. Oh, nice. So it's like a, a, a Mexican guy, a black guy, and a white guy. They're all on a boat and it's sinking, right? Yeah. So they find. 
Where is this episode going, you know? Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> Starting up the year right. Yeah, no, we're gonna leave we're gonna leave racism in twenty nineteen, guys. <laughs> yeah, we still, uh, we got two more days. Yeah, so. yeah, two more days. <laughs> no, so like they're all on a boat and uh they find this magic lamp and they rub it, right? And the genie comes out. And uh, he goes, uh, listen, I'll grant you a wish if you throw something off of this boat that you have a lot of in your country, you know? So uh, <laughs> Mexican guy goes first. He throws over, like, rice and beans and stuff. He's like, I have a lot of this in my country. Boom, he gets, like, a a wish, yeah. you know? And they're all wishing to, like, save the boat. That just doesn't, that right. doesn't say. Right. So the black guy, um, you know, he throws over, you know, this joke is racist, <laughs> but like, you know, he throws over like some soul food and like stuff that they eat, you know? And he's like, well, uh, in the joke, they say watermelon, but I don't feel comfortable saying that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. so, you know, he's like, yeah, it's this- a classic racist joke. Yeah. 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 And, he's and like, then let me guess where this is what, going. What, what he said, he said, he said, what the joke goes, he goes, he throws over grits and he throws over watermelons. He goes, this is a, I have a lot of this in my country. This is what we use. Da, 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 da. So the white guy grabs the Mexican and the black guy and throws them both over and just says, I'll have a Coke as his wish. <laughs> Terrible racist joke. And the way that these racist jokes would just fly around schoolyards when you were a kid, it's unbelievable. I've never heard that one, to be honest with yeah. you. But yeah, racist jokes are, you know. But you ever hear the Polish one about hiding up in the tree? What? <laughs> what? So, I don't even know Polish stereotypes, honestly. <laughs> I know two Polish jokes, and I don't know why they're Polish jokes. I, yeah, I don't know Polish stereotypes. I only know, like, the main ones. <laughs> so, like, what are we doing here? So, <laughs> so uh, how do you know a Polish person's been using a computer? They'll be white out on the screen. <laughs> oh, the stereotype is that they're like dumb or something. Yes, yes. So then there's which an- just has immediately like I don't res- that doesn't resonate with me. Because I don't know it- enough Polish people. Well, I knew a Polish kid in like seventh grade, and he was a fucking brainiac. Yeah. yeah so his name was Adrian, and boy was he smart. Then like there's another one where uh... <laughs> how many do you? <laughs> no, I only had two Polish jokes for that that from growing up. Um, all right, so there's these three guys, right? There's uh, an American guy, a German guy, and a Polish guy. And they're running away from people that are chasing them. They escaped from prison. So they're getting getting chased. So they're like, dude, we can't run anymore. Like, we got to, like, run for it. We got to, like, one jumps in the bushes. Another one climbs up a tree, right? And the other one is hiding, like, close to a body of water, right? So (laughs) So the soldiers or whatever, the prison guards are looking for them. And they're like, oh, I think I heard something. And it's the American by the water. And he just goes, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. They're like, oh, it's a frog. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So then they're like, oh, I think I heard something in the bush. They're like, oh. So they walk over there. And the German guy just starts making like, you know, like squirrely noises. Like, like little noises. Like, like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. <laughs> then they hear something in a tree. They're like, yo, I definitely heard something that's up in that tree. <laughs> Let's check it out. And the Polish guy goes, moo. <laughs> that's such a bad joke. It's so bad. They're all bad. <sighs> They're all bad. And I love uh, whoever like tries to like, oh, he butchered it. I'd be like, I want to see you do it because that means you're racist. <laughs> you spent more time practicing those jokes. Telling jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. This confetti is... Uh, did you have the same confetti in your thing that I had in mine? Looks like it. We can't stop touching this shit. No, this is not good for fidgety boys. No, no, no. We're very fidgety. Um, so, yeah, basically what we're trying to say is we're going to leave the racist jokes in, in uh, yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah, 2020, we're going to start new. Start, uh, start clean. Start clean. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what resolutions I have, to be honest with you. Our goals resolutions are like... Yeah, what's of course. A, are, are like... It's exactly what a resolution is. Yeah, but I thought resolutions are like ant- solutions to problems. Like if you want to lose some weight, it's like, oh, because I think I'm overweight, I'm going to lose some weight. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to resolute no, that problem. No, you, you, you can, yeah, you can have goals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, have some goals. You know what I'm saying? What, what goals do you have? 
Um, what goals do I have? I don't know, man. I don't want to say. I don't want to ruin the Supreme. You don't want to ruin the Supreme. I guess for myself is, I mean, every year I'm just gonna want to tell myself that I want to run a marathon, but there's no fucking. Well, way. Let's start small. Um, let's run a five k. <laughs> no, 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 not bad. Just be like, make a 2020. Uh, you'll see a whale. That 2020 that. kid. No, 2020. Oh, man, I'd love to see a whale. All right, so there's one. You'll go whale watching. Uh, where, uh, what? Oh, yeah, you set out in Long Island. Yeah, you can go whale watching or somewhere lo- in Massachusetts. But that's the thing. I don't want to go sit there and watch whales. Like, when dudes go hunting. You say and they- that now. Once you see a whale, you'd be like, holy fuck, that's but a that's whale. But that's what I'm saying. Dude. It might take me four hours, though. I don't want to sit there staring at the ocean like a nah, fucking idiot. Nah, 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 nah. You go out there in one of those boats, those reserves, they, all, they know where all them fucking whales be at. Sonar and shit. You'll be able to find it. I would love to see a whale, though, man. I'm just gonna... have it come up out of the water. Like, ah. oh, God. See, I want... See, like, for me, I want all my resolutions to be fun stuff because people fuck up and make their resolutions shit. Shit. Like, boring things. Yeah, like, reading is shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's shit. Dieting is shit. What about... Working out is shit. Playing and... more board games. That's That's great. That sounds fun. That does. And I enjoy that. I like board games. I think that's something. And it's guess what? You could do it. Yeah, and it's fun. Yeah. I want I want to play more chess. You play, but you play chess on the computer. Yeah. You got to play real chess. You got to hold those pieces in your hand. Go play yeah. an old guy yeah. in like Central I wanna go, Park. I want to I want to play an old man in the park in chess in 2020. And I'm going to bring it. Dude, he's going to whoop your ass. Yeah, then he's going to give me life advice about what I should do with my finances. And then he's actually like borderline homeless, so I shouldn't take advice from him about yeah. that. Things haven't been the same since he got back. Yeah, but he's kicking my ass. In chess. Because that's all he did for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, he's an old weathered man mm-hmm. with a, like a paper boy hat on. And maybe he and is. And he has an old New York Times with him. Yeah, and maybe he is a little, you know, racist towards minorities, but he thinks that Danny's just like a tanned white guy, so yeah, he, he yeah. accepts him. Like, he'll a- constantly ask me, like, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm going to be like... Yeah, but you don't. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's okay, and he's got an old man name, like Arthur. Yeah, and I'm developing my knights, so I, I don't want to, like, step out on the game because I'm doing well, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so I'll play an old man in the park in chess. Not gonna say I'm gonna win, but I'll play an old man. Why don't we right now just make a ridiculous list of things like that? Yeah, let's do it. And then we have to kind of like we have to try and do it. Yeah. But like it has to be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah. I wanna I wanna let's do it. All right. My first one is I I wanna bottle feed a tiger okay. or a lion. I mean you're shooting for the stars here, Steve. No, that's doable. Listen, Steve Irwin. We we go get a tiger. Yeah, 2020, your first fucking resolution is like, I'm going to feed a tiger? Dude, I can't just go get you a tiger. Dude, we're going to be in Miami in a month. And you could go there and you could feed tigers with bottles, dude. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Can you? Yes. Can I hug it? Yes. Yes. You get to hold it. Ooh. And it gnaws on your little finger. I want a tiger to bite my hand. That's what I'm saying. Be like a tiger, little, little snow leopard tiger gnawed on my finger and I fed it through a bottle. So that's one. Put it on there. I honestly could cry thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to do that. And a month from now, we're going to do that. Okay, feeding tigers. Feeding tigers and or lions with milk bottles. F- feeding baby tigers and what? And or lions. Or lions, milk bottles. Yes. Okay. To artificially inseminate an animal. Okay, let's move back. I, I, I want it. No. You want to shoot? Play all right. Play an old man in chess. Put it on there. We'll revisit it. Well, why don't we just combine combine the two and you art- artificially inseminate I mean, an, an old, old man. man playing chess? Yeah. Put it on there. While he's playing chess, you inseminate him. Yes. Nothing's gonna happen. No, but just to say I did it. But he was, inse- it was inseminated. It was a resolution. Play an old an old man in chess in the park. Mm. Um. Play an old woman in checkers. <laughs> Help an old man. Because remember what happened before? Let's help old men, help help an old person with help something. Help an old person with something, because on our on our way here, there was an old man trying to fill up his car. He was trying to fill up a tire with. A, oh God! 
<laughs> on the way over here, an old man Ugh. was trying to fill up his tire with a bike pump. He was trying to put air in it, and he was using a bike pump. And, I mean, we... I was going pretty fast, so we only saw him. And by the time we got, you know, we the time we processed the information, we were too far. I could have drove around the block, but I definitely didn't. No. Um, and as soon as I saw him, I said, oh, God, I want to help that old man so yeah, bad. Yeah, but he was trying to do that. I can't imagine it's too efficient. No, 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 no. And then you said you don't know what kind of old man you're going to get. Yeah, because you could be dealing with like a, you know, an ex, you know, you know, a veteran or something. You know, they're like, hey, sir, do you need help? He's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Get away from here, you brown face boy. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, I just want to help you pump your tire. <laughs> your brown face boy. He's like, I lost friends in Pearl Harbor because of you. I'm like, dude, I was born here. What are you talking about, brother? Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, so we have help an old person with something. Break a world record. Break a world record. Break a world yeah, record. For sure. What else? Um, paint our faces? Sure. I'll paint my face. Yeah. Paint, paint our, our faces. faces. But we have to paint each other's faces. Paint each other's faces. Yeah, yeah. You can't paint your own because you'll do a good job. I'm not. I can't paint my face. But you got to say the person. Can we paint anything, or is just like there's parameters? I'm not painting your thing. Not my penis. I'm talking about my face. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you said. Does it have to be face? No, 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 no. Like, does it have to be like? Do I turn you into a lizard? Oh, you could paint. I mean, within your artistic right, realm. Right. Okay, you know good. what I mean. Don't ask me to put a beak on right, you. Right, 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 right. I can't right, do that. Right. Of course not. Right. Also, stay away from from the color. The color black. We can't have black faces. No, it's no, a bad no, thing. No, no, no. Like um, we said, we're leaving all the racism in twenty nineteen. We're talking about twenty twenty resolutions here. Okay, so we have feeding a baby or tigers milk bottles, play, play an old man in chest in the park, help an old person with something, break a world record, and paint each other's faces. Um, get tattoos. Get it. Get it. Get another tattoo. Yeah. Okay, so we have. Okay, I don't know. I want to get one. I want to get one like tomorrow, but I don't know what I want. I do too. I know what I'm gonna get. I think I want to don't what a bird. No. What? I don't know if I. I want to get Eli's face on, on your my, hand on my thigh. Why do you keep looking at your fist? I want to put an elephant right here. An elephant? Yeah, right here. What's an elephant? It's my favorite animal. This guy. I love elephants. Let's go to Thailand and ride elephants. I'm not putting that on there. That's big no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we could probably it. ride an elephant in America somewhere. Yeah, but... People get mad at us. Yeah. We went pretty hard after the vegans, too, last episode. So. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't go after them. We were just like, why do you guys want fake meat? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, come on. Let, let us, let have, us that. have that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we'll get a tattoo in 2020. We have to both get tattoos in 2020. Yeah. Have to. Mm, okay. We fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. I might right. get Charlie's name. That'd be cool. You know, you should. You know what I was thinking too. But it's cliche. It's like if you a get paw tra- print. Yeah, it's kind of cute though. I don't want a paw print on my body. You should get Charlie's face. No, I'm not gonna get Charlie's face. Um, I would just get his name somewhere. Yeah. But then someone would find it and be like, "Is this your ex lover?" And I would say yes. Yeah, but girls could be named Charlie. Yeah, but it would be a guy. Listen. I'm gonna put Charlie and then in parentheses male. <laughs> <laughs> or just like the symbol, yeah, the sex symbol, Charlie. Um, ride a tandem bike. Yes, <laughs> ride a tandem bike. Through you know what? I'm actually gonna through Central Park. Listen, yeah, yo, Central Park's not an easy bike. No, it's tough. There's some hills, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need you like either. I'm fine. Are you in the front or the back? I need power. Uh, I'll be I'll be in the front. I'll, we, we push we, us up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. if you're in the back, I might be that. Be that's what I'm saying. You have to. You're, that's more. <laughs> that becomes more of a sled. Yeah, or a sleigh. Well, and point. if we go backwards on a tandem bike, hold on to your fucking hoses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want that. Hold on to your hoses. I liked it. I got what it. The fuck, am I talking about? Hold on to your penis. Yeah, I yeah. I wasn't even gonna. Say, I was gonna. I, I wanted to say horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I forgot a yeah. letter. What am I looking up? Tandem bike. Tandem Sa- bike. Tandem bike price. Can't be that expensive. Okay, this one at Walmart's eighty dollars. I don't think that's gonna hold up. No, too much weight throwing around. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll have to go somewhere and try it out. Okay, this one's three hundred dollars. Now we're talking. Yeah. Okay. A tandem bike would be great. Yeah. Who makes this? Mantis. Look at this thing. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah. It's going to be great. You can't get tired on me, though. I'm not going to get tired. You can't get tired on a tandem bike. As long as it stays flat, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
They flat. We want to get a tandem bike? Yes. Can we borrow one? Yeah, you could rent one probably. <laughs> I love how you said that so definitively and then said probably. Easily. Yeah, you definitely could probably. Yeah, you could definitely probably do that, dude. A hundred percent could probably do that. <laughs> Um, okay, ride a tandem bike. That was a really good one. I've never ridden a tandem. I've never ridden. What else have you haven't done? That go, you... go up in a hot air balloon. Okay, I'm not putting that in there. You wouldn't do it. Nah. What if we do it together? No, because I at one time I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to Colorado and I'm gonna do a, a hot air balloon over the Rocky Mountains, and I had this whole thing planned out. Okay. Two days later on the news, there was a report that came out that two hot air balloons collided. People fall out of the baskets, and now they're spread out all over the the fucking Colorado mountains, the Rocky Mountains. Okay. All right. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. It scared me. Okay. Because you can't, you can't drive them. No, it's just a dude going stars. It's, it's just up and stars. down. Stars. Yeah. Stars. Stars. Yeah. Dude. And then it's like, whoa. Also, there's a movie coming out of someone who who couldn't stop the the stars, and they had to climb up and like open a hole so they could come down. How do you climb up a hot air balloon? Based on a true story. I'm not buying it. A hot air balloon movie. Hot air. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon movie. It's a, is that a working title? <laughs> it's a it's a working. Oh, it's called the Aeronauts. I think. Who's in it? Who plays the hot air balloon? Uh, Billy Jean uh, Edmund. <laughs> I mean, <I've> been... <laughs> but no, it's uh, what's his name? Zac Efron's gonna Felicity play the... Jones and Eddie Redmayne. Felicity Jones is gonna play the balloon. That's amazing. Yeah. Is it animated? No man, this is this is fucking. We're talking about people who's who won Actor of the Year, I know. or whatever that fucking thing is. Um, where is the thing? Oh, find themselves in an epic fight for survival while attempting to make discoveries in a gas balloon. They called it a gas balloon. I want. I want. Sounds like a, a white problem, right there. The aeronaut story. That's a white. In problem. In 1862, scientist James Gla- Glacier and wealthy young widow Amelia Wren. Amelia is always having trouble up in the sky, huh? Yeah, Amelia Earhart. Amelia Gremlin, what's her name? Uh, Wren. Oh, sorry. Not Gremlin. Um, they mount a balloon expedition to fly higher than anyone in history. As their perilous ascent reduces their chances of survival, the unlikely duo soon discover things about themselves, each other, that would... Oh, okay, this is just like a fucking thing. But, but basically what I heard is that they couldn't stop it from going up. Yeah. Because the thing like broke. So what you have to do is go on top and make a hole so that the air can escape and it doesn't inflate the balloon. That, but also that, what you're doing at that is you're risking that it, the air comes out too fast and you start dropping to earth. Yeah, you're also just like, how are you going to make that two hours? Sounds like an easy fix to me. You just crawl up there, make a hole, crawl back down. Oh, yeah. Right. How easy is it to crawl up a fucking balloon in the sky? I'm just saying, for two hours, I'm going to need a little more substance than you just climbing a balloon. No, dude. It, it, it was fr- it was they were so high that it was freezing. I am so high. <laughs> I can see <laughs> heaven. <laughs> I'm so high. Whoa. What? Did they live? Spoiler alert. True story. I mean, yeah, they I mean, yeah. That's how they know what happened. Dude. I want to see death. Huh? I want to see death. Yeah, go see death in this one. Or maybe someone dies up there. Maybe they start eating each other. That'd be nice. Oh yeah. Um. I think it was like it was snowing or something. The temperature is now below freezing, and then she demanded that they start to descend. But James is slightly going mad from the cold and insists they continue. Ah man, the cold weather would get to the oh, boy. Oh, but these people were like trying to go somewhere. Yeah, they were trying to break a record for the highest it ever went. Also, they're white, so like you know they get adventurous in the yeah. cold. They're like, I'll freeze to death. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not cold. <laughs> yeah, white people love dying for dumb causes. They'd be also, like, oh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna get in this balloon or I'm a I'm a base jump. Also, I just feel like I want a base jump record. White dads don't wear pants in the cold. No, they hate My dad pants. never wore pants. He just wore shorts. It, it could be like 21 degrees. My dad's like, are you cold, pussy? I'd be like, dad, it's 20 degrees. How are you not cold? Yeah, dad. I got a jacket on. I'm pretty convinced dads don't get cold. My dad's never worn a hat in his life. Not that you could fit one over that melon. But you got a big old head on. That guy's got a head big like a knot. fucking. Yeah. It's like it would be like trying to put a beanie on a lion. It was insane. Or like trying to put a hat on a bowling ball. Good luck. They don't make fucking snapbacks that big, kid. Those are both good analogies, though. Just saying. I enjoyed both of them. I don't know why I went to lot. They have big faces. That's the thing. They do. A lot of hair. But yeah, they had to. Oh. Oh. 
Are we spoiling the, the movie? The two, the two. I don't give a shithole. And it was in the, it was in the the preview. So this oh, is like, okay, you know, right. it's well known. Um, they tried to do some shit, but when it didn't work, the two resort to climbing onto the framework and releasing the basket. Amelia then prepares to sacrifice herself. Like, oh, someone sacrificed themselves, I guess. They can use the climb parachute, which is <laughs> <laughs> My milkshake brings out the boys to the yard and then right. It's, it's better than, than yours, damn right. It's, it's better, better than, than yours, I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. charge. I definitely have to charge. Um, But yeah, so climbing an air balloon. All right, so we won't do that. Um, okay, what else we got, though? I want to do some cool stuff in 2020. Volunteer at a soup kitchen. Volunteer at a soup kitchen. Always wanted to do that, but never did it because I'm all talking. I'm a pussy. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Or like slash like visit a children's hospital. The kids have to want to see you there. I don't know if they want to see me and you, but Oh, they do. They have a great time with us. I, I think we're good guys, but I don't think we would get them to say, well, who am I, John Cena? What are, <laughs> the fuck am I going there? <laughs> I'm just going there to kids' faces. Be like, what's up? He's like, it's Cena, kid. Uh! No, I'm Joe Cena. It's like, who the fuck is that? Uh, you know. No, I think you. I think you can just go. Yeah, but I don't want to just like visit a kid and just feel. And the kid's just gonna be like, "Dude, not you, bro." Like I put in for got, Derek got, Jeter, yeah, and now I, I got this fucking random guy here. I got, I got enough going on. Yeah, I got. I can't. I can't today. I'm busy. I want to. Okay? I want to make. I want to make someone's wish come true in 2020. Okay, make a wish come true. Make a wish come true. You want to go to Disney? <laughs> yes. Yes. I want to go to Disney in 2020. I want to go back. All right. I know I'm not like drinking or anything, but. I want to go back and get blasted at yeah, Epcot. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Be able to, you know, ring you in. I'll be able to keep an eye on you so you can go balls to the wall. Yeah, it's, dude. Yeah. Just fucking fuck me up. It was so hot that day. The sun was beating me down. How about this? My pale white skin was... No, no, no. As my birthday gift, right? You take me to Disney. Just me and you? Just me and you. And then, like, other friends can come if they want. You just pay for me to go. You just offered for me to pay for a Disney trip. Yeah, that's it. Unaware of the price of these tickets. Are they expensive? Are they expensive? I don't I don't know. Yeah, well, a bit about three hundred dollar there, Bill. Oh, that's not bad for a birthday. Oh, I gotta pay for me too. Yeah, that's true. What about a hotel? What about this and that? How about you pay for the tickets? I'll pay for the I'll pay for the park. You pay for the park. Yes. If you pay for my ticket, we'll get, to get a park in, hopper. We'll hit right, some rides. Right, right, right. You, if you, you you pay for me to get in, we'll split everything else. Sounds great. All right, let's get to our sponsors for today. Uh, first one being Stitch Fix, which is kind of hard for me to say for some reason, but Stitch Fix is a great company. It is an online personal styling service that's li- that delivers your favorite clothing, sh- shoes, and accessories directly to you. Um, it's basically like. I said, having a personal stylist. So you go onto their website and you uh, fill out a form. You let them know what kind of stuff you're into. You like wearing stripes, baggy, slim fit, whatever you like, um, what your style is. And then your personal stylish stylist will spring into action and pull five items and send it to you. Um, no uh, subscription required. You can pick between automatic shipments or only getting new pieces on demand. Um but it's really cool because it's like being Christmas. It's like Christmas every single month because you get a box. And you're like, oh my god, new clothes, and you don't have to keep all of them. You don't. You, don't, you only pay for what you keep. So yeah, if you like something, you're like, oh, this is awesome. And you're like, eh, I don't like this one. That's where you're supposed to come. Oh, at. okay. I was supposed. To, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the styling fee is twenty dollars. Um, it's automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. Um, discover new styles and find unique pieces with Stitch Fix. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash basement and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That's that's, co- that's a quarter of the price. That's huge. Um, that's stitchfix.com slash basement. Again, that is stitchfix.com slash basement. Okay. Um, but before the NFL season comes to a close, I mean, you're always going to have stuff to bet on, but with my bookie, you should bet on the NFL before. Uh, pl- nothing better than putting some money on some playoff games. <sighs> a lot of teams playing to get into right now. Yeah. Trying to clinch spots. Also, even games that you're not interested in, 
betting with my bookie mm. makes them exciting because now you have some money on it. Even if it's something like little, you're like, you know what? I'm going to bet that this person's going to have this many yards. Keeps you engaged. Yeah. Keeps you rooting for a team. My team's out. Yeah, my team's been out. We've been we've been out for a while now. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're the best. Uh, go to bookie mybookie.com slash ag. Uh, not slash. I'm sorry. Mybookie.com. Guys, it's mybookie.ag. Okay, mybookie.ag. Mybookie.ag. I'm gonna keep saying it. Mybookie.ag. There you go, Danny. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Use the promo code uh, basement to activate the offer. Um, they will double your first deposit. So if you put $100 down, use the promo code BASEMENT, they will put an extra 100 so you can bet, you know what I'm saying, double down on that bet that you feel so strongly about. House money. Yes. So the promo code, again, is BASEMENT. Visit mybookie.ag today. You play, you win, you get paid. All right? Next, we have <laughs> Indochino. Ooh. Custom menswear. Come on. This is something. This is Danny. This is right up your alley, buddy. Talk to me. Um, Indochino is one of the largest made to measure menswear brands. Okay. They're making it easier for men to get great foot, great fitting, high quality suits and shirts at an incredible price. All you have to do is visit Indochino.com or drop by one of their nine North American showrooms. Pick from hundreds of fabrics and patterns. Choose your customizations from the lapels to the, to jacket linings or, or more. You submit your body measurements. Uh, you kick back and relax and get ready to step into the best, most stylish suit you've ever worn in just four weeks. Okay. I need a new suit. Uh, yeah. This week, our listeners can get any premium Indochino suit for just $389 at Indochino.com when entering basement at checkout. That's 50% off the regular price for a made-to-measure premium suit. Every man needs a nice suit. Plus, shipping is free. That's Indochino.com, but the promo code is basement for any premium suit for just $389 and free shipping. Okay? Indochino spelled I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O. Dot com. Put in the promo code BASEMENT. Premium suits, $389. You think I'm kidding, but I'm literally going to order one right now while Danny cleans up all of this. Oh, God. Okay? I, knew that, I knew this was coming. Uh, yeah, it's going down. Um, <laughs> get ready to look like a million bucks, peeps. All right? Enjoy your new suit. I'm done. All right, cool. Uh, go to Disney World. That'll be my birthday present. Yep. Take a picture in front of Disney. the fucking, uh, uh, oh, whatever that thing's called. The fucking castle. The castle? Yeah, I got to see this castle. Fake propose to me? I will. I shall. <laughs> it won't be fake in my mind, but it'll be fake in yours. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say no and then run yeah, away. Yeah, then we'll go to Disney. Um, <laughs> release a song. Release a song. Yes. Release a song. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, well, That's good. Yeah, we'll release a song. That's good. That'll be fun. People, <laughs> people will enjoy that a lot. Um... Start our own candle company. Okay, I'm gonna not. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not starting a candle company. I'm so sorry. all right. So what's the list so far? How many are on there? Okay, feed and baby years, tigers. Years are long. Years are long. We got time. Yes. Feed baby tigers lines with milk bottles. Uh, play an old man in chess in the park. Ha- help an old person with something. Mm-hmm. Break a world record. Uh, paint each other's faces. Get another <laughs> tattoo. Ride a tandem bike. Yeah. Volunteer at a soup kitchen, make a wish come true, go to Disney World, uh, and release a song. All right, those are good so far. Those are good. Those are really good so far. Make a wish come true. Um, When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. That fucking cricket could sing, huh? Is it the cricket? Was it Jiminy Cricket that sang that? Jiminy Cricket. Did he? I don't know. Well dressed cricket as well. Oh, he's a good he's tailor. A, he's a dapper man. Yeah, he's a dapper cricket. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> oh, he's a dapper cricket. Oh, eat a cricket. Okay, I'll eat a cricket. I would love to eat a cricket, like a chocolate covered cricket. Yeah, for sure. We'll just uh, we'll scrape the chocolate off for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can leave some of it on there. I just can't have all of it. Yeah, you can have a a, a hint of chocolate. Yeah. Um. There was another food I wanted to try. Bull of, penis? Of an animal, yeah. That's no, a, eat rock, an animal's rock, dick. The rock, yeah, eat an animal's dick. Eat an animal's sure. dick. Sure. Eat an animal's dick in 2020. Or balls. Or balls. Yeah. I'll, I'll set up for balls. Rocky or dick, Ma- dick and balls or just 
yeah, if you do both, that's just a double double point. No, I mean, I'm saying, like, can it be one, or does it have to be both? No, you can eat a nut or a dick. Okay, so I'm going to put or here instead yeah. of a slash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, eat an animal's dick or balls. Uh, <laughs> balls. Um, play musical chairs. Just a great musical chairs. Get the Santa Gata Studio boys in here. Play musical, play, yeah. And play musical chairs. Play musical chairs with the guys with the boys yes I spelled that with a z that's perfect um okay what else Car- can we sing a song karaoke something go christmas caroling me, oh my god me you frankie go christmas caroling how do you do that you just ring the bell and start singing and just start singing I think we could put a nice rendition of Jingle Bells together. Yeah, and we have a whole year to prepare for it, so we could go through some training, figure it out. Training. Yeah, just you know, I mean, I can't, I can't carry both of you guys. I mean, I, I'm a good backup. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how Frankie is. Frankie may just have to like, you know, hold a tambourine or something. Yeah, that's fine. We could do that. But yeah, let's go caroling next year. Okay, go caroling. That'd See, be this, nice. This stuff takes us out of our, uh, what's the word? Comfort zone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Comfort zone. Um, caroling. Um, I've gone caroling actually. No, you haven't. I have gone caroling by yourself. I've caroled. No, why would I do that by myself? Did you go with like a caroling group? I went with uh, a couple of my buddies, like four of them. It was it was ironic that we. I mean, it was like you know, it was supposed to be funny, but we we went and we sang. Did anybody like enjoy it? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember singing. Did um, you guys like sing the full songs? Ding dong, ding dong. You guys did that? That was my part. Okay. I don't know the words. Someone knew the words. My friend Sean knew the words. Well, you got to bring the words with you. You bring the lyrics. Oh, and someone's got a ding dong. Yeah, of course. Someone so that's why I was like, I'll step up to the plate and hit these bells. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're going to do great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the bells down. Um, What else is there? Build something. Now, when you say build something, like like a computer wood or shop, a desk or a build a computer, yeah, yeah, take a wood shop class. I'm not taking a wood shop class. What about clay class? What about one of those places? Pottery we- class. Let's go take a pottery class. Oh. And we can hold the spinny dervish. Pottery class is in it. It's uh, what's called a who? A spinning dervish, I think. Spinning dervish. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Isn't that a pitcher? No, no. Oh, then, no, that's you, Darvish. It's you, Darvish, a Japanese man. Yeah, yeah. I always get that mixed up. You. But, yeah, a pottery class. Be dope. Okay, take a pottery class. Um, Try to get published in the New York Times. What do we, what do we have a column? like? Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Sex in the City? Yeah. Carrie Bradshaw? Yes. Try and get published in the newspaper. I don't think that we should write that. Why not? Because that's years of like college and, and you know. Nah, I got it in me. I don't think so. You can't write. I've seen you put sentences together. It's I like, could put good words together. I don't think so. Yes, I can. I could do more more things with words than you think I can. I don't think so. Yeah. Very, very, very. I do very well good with words. How many words do you know? Seven. Right now. Off the top of my head. No, how many words do you think you actually know? Oh, thousands upon thousands. Right. I'm a great Scrabble player. I fucking beat the shit out of you in words with friends. And then you go, oh, too many ads on the end. That's not happened. That's not true. I hosed you. I was hosing you. Excuse me? I was hosing you in words with friends. That's not true. And anytime you want to play words with friends, I will thrash that ass. I'm going to go get Scrabble. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to play that Scrabble. That's fine. Also, Scrabble. Yeah. Is not when you play in the app. I know the words that I'm laying down. Before. Yeah, I bet you do that, Bill. Guessing. You're not up there putting up fake words like, "Oh no, it's not a word," because he'll tell you if it's a word or not. Yeah. I can't challenge you. That's fine. And also, you think I won't study for that game? Za, z, I got all as, those. oh, oz. I got all those. You know what I'm saying? Or and triple letter the shit out of those sheets. Or like Q words, like cat, like Q A T is a word I think, or like Q A or Q I. I can. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, I know you don't. Yeah. You better hope I don't get that triple word, baby. 
if I get an S, there's three words coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm we'll attaching see. it on to we'll something, see. and then I'm getting another one. Just keep your J's away from me. That's all I'm saying. You better keep... Yeah, the J's, bro. They got the 10 keep, point. Keep your J's and your uh, X's away from your boy, because I know a lot of words with J and a lot of words with X. Yeah, dude. Jaw. Jax. <laughs> Xylophone. <laughs> Good luck spelling that. Can't even spell it now. Um, what are we talking about now? Oh, um... You need you need to add one. I've added all these things. Yeah, but you have good ideas. You're an idea man. I am. I'm an idea man. It's what you are. That's but, why I but, keep them around. You know, um, pottery class. That'd be a pottery cool. class would be great. I was get just, get something sky written. That'd be cool. I literally am going to Google that right yeah. now. What should we put in the sky? Like, you uh, can't put titties in the sky. Enough. No, still fat. Still fat? Let's get still fat written in the sky. <sighs> still fat. Yeah. How, how to get something written in the sky. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Sky, whoa. Sky riding starts at $3,500 for a single riding, plus any ferry free fees to move the aircraft into your z- desired location. Ooh. Damn, they bring that shit to your crib? That's fire. They don't bring it to your crib. <laughs> <laughs> Advertise. So this is like advertising. Yeah. These people are smart. Write shit in the sky, dude. <laughs> Click here to fly your message. I'm, I'm trying to fly. My budget? I don't know. $10 million. I don't Cash. have $10 million. Cash. I'm sure if you liquidated everything, you'd be close. To $10 million? F- I don't have five. 5 Five million dollars? Yeah, yeah. What do I own that's like that I could liquidate? A house? Yeah. Uh maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Five million dollars liquid. I just I just get rid of everything. Keep liquid. all this money. Yeah. Um areas to fly. Is it business or personal? It's business. <laughs> We're starting a business here. Oh man. I'm gonna wear this way after Christmas, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, my sink's making all types of noise. I would love to fly something. So wait, how, how do we? Uh, <laughs> NYC. Right. Skywriting. Skywriting. <laughs> right in the sky. I was gonna say <laughs> that. Skywriting. New York City sky. Dude, this is so smart. Yeah, dude. You are amazing with these ideas. Right. Aerial messages. Fire. Guaranteed to be seen. I hate how they do this, man. Oh, man. Now you're off the train. What happened? No, nah, because they got to request a quote. What is this? No. Oh, oh, you have to request the. Yeah, you can't just have it give me a price. Well, thing, still fat's man. not a lot. You could put your, you could put like a, a fucking, oh, dude, you could do it at the beach. Yeah, we we'll all go to the beach and just be like, yo, don't tell anybody and just like point at it. Once. And just says like, oh, my God, why does it say Santa got a studio? Yeah. <laughs> This fucking be- four thousand dollars for a joke. Oh, God. It's worth every penny. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Yeah. This is this is easy. I'm definitely doing this. Write something in the sky. In the sky. It's perfect. Something stupid. Yeah. Okay. 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 Epstein didn't kill himself. We'll write that in the sky. I don't know if that'll get approved. Probably. The not. number of characters in a sky typing message is unlimited, but we recommend less than twenty five. Yeah, man. We're good. My last name is Nine Alone. And then Studios is like seven. Yeah, that's true. But it'd be funny just to put like something. Oh, man. If I had like a billion dollars, that's probably how I would communicate with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would just like every time you were late, I would have a plane on call and then I just put it in the sky. Just don't even bother coming in. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Late night air fucking jets. Just like, that's good. Oh, man. That'd be dope. Um, that was such a good one. I was gonna say rock. Oh, uh, the billboard. Yes. Put something on a billboard. Yes. Love it. We're planning this year. It's gonna be a big year, guys. See now we got we got. We're gonna start. paint we each got... other's faces, but yeah. we're also gonna be on a billboard. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Eat a cricket. Eat a cricket. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get a tattoo. Eat an animal's dick or balls. We got stuff. We there's, got stuff. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. World record. World record, yeah. A lot, a lot. Is there anything else that we want to add? 
This is this is a big list, but we can get it done. How many are on the list right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Man, let's uh. let's, let's make twenty. Two more. Nineteen. Do a live show. Okay. Do a live show in twenty twenty. Do a live show, yeah. and then the last one is gonna be. You got to come up with one. I came up with all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. The kid's good. That's yeah. how I'll give him that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do meth? Yeah. No. Smoke crack. Smoke crack again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Every year we're going to do this. Every year we're smoking crack. Um, Man, I don't know. Ooh. How about. Build out a studio space. Sounds great. Mm. Build a new studio space. Love it. Like an actual one. No more apartments. No more basements. Yeah, places to go. A biz- a place of business. A place of business. Which kind of aligns with the shit that I want to do this year. With key fobs. With I want key a, fobs. I want a key fob. And an assistant that's like hot, but not too hot. Right. Because then there could be some HR stuff. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. no one wants that. And, and, and we have to keep it professional. So she has to be something like, you know, like an eight. But she can't be an 8.1. No, no, no. And she got to know her way around the office. She can't just be sitting in there on Instagram all day doing whatever no, she no, wants. No, no, no. She's got to, an- she's got to, you know, answer the phones. Real the deal. Real deal. Reliable girl. Reliable gal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, was, she was born in a different state, grew up in Texas. Nice, nice Southern morals, but she knows how to be a working man in the North. She could crack the whip. Crack the whip. Keep us in line. Uh, that's what I like. Doesn't get too drunk at the holiday parties. In right. fact, she takes care of us because we get too drunk and she doesn't want us to embarrass the whole company. My boys are crazy. They're crazy. You My know? boys are wild. She doesn't really post on Instagram too much. So no. She's kind of under the radar, incognito, if you will. She could start tomorrow. She sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> How quick can you start? Absolutely. So that's perfect. Those are great 20 things that we could do. Mm-hmm. Let's go over the list one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so everyone's aware, you know, of what we're doing here. So, for the year of 2020, Happy New Year, this is what we're going to do. Me and Danny made a list just now in the episode. Feed baby tigers lines with milk bottles. Play an old man in chess in the park. Help an old person with something. Break a world record. Paint each other's faces. Yes. uh, Get another tattoo. Ride a tandem bike. That's going to be, it sounds dangerous. Volunteer at a soup kitchen and don't eat the soup. Uh, make a, I mean, you can't eat the soup. It's for, it's, for, you know, for the. I'll taste it. Just to, gonna, make, just to make sure it's it's made right. Okay. Make a wish come true. So get your wishes ready. Yep. A couple genies sitting over here. Uh, go to Disney World. Release a song. Yes. Eat a cricket. Mm-hmm. Eat an animal's dick or balls. Can't wait. Uh, play musical chairs with dub boys. Uh, go caroling. Yes. Take a pottery class. <sighs> Probably make a nice vase or vase or, yeah. you know, something. you know, Flower pot, maybe. Or a flower pot. Yes. Depending, depending on how much clay they give us. <laughs> Write something in the sky with those planes. Be so uh, put something on a billboard. Do a live show and build out a studio space. I mean, if we get all those done, what a full year. Dude, remember that year we did all that stuff? Yeah. Go on vacation also. Yeah, go on vacation. Perfect. And that's the thing. Now it's like that's the first step right there. Can't have a good year without planning out the year. No, we planned it out. It's already done already. All jokes aside, though, I will say that – one of the things that I've tried to do in the past and didn't hold on to was every month have at least one thing that you do that's like out of the ordinary and it's and it's worthy to talk about you know I think I've said this on podcast on a podcast before like a while ago but I was like at least once a month do something that's gonna be a story you know oh we got some now oh yeah we got you feed a baby fucking tiger it's like I'm telling yeah. everybody about that you know? yeah. I'm telling my grandkid about that tandem bike. These, this, this is all potential content, too, which is great. Oh, yeah. Us riding a tandem bike is Come just on. something else. And we obviously have to wear costumes. I mean, what? Yeah, like little like little sailors. 
Sailors don't ride tandem bikes. Doesn't matter. Still dress up like little sailors. Who rides tandem bikes, by the way? Other than like old timey whites. I got nothing. Clowns? Cla- no, clowns, they ride small bikes. That's true. But I think I've seen them on a tandem going no. over jumps and falling off the bikes no, and stuff. No, you've seen many of them get out of a car, which I still don't understand how that works. I think they just have to have f- flexible legs. I never see a hole in the floor. I used to think that's what it was. Yeah. And they would just come up and come out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck clowns, dude. Yeah. I'm not fucking with clowns. You want to go to clown college? I don't want to go there. No, I would try to like... See if I can get booked as a clown and do a kid's birthday party. Like, not know anything. <laughs> Just make balloon animals for no reason. Can you make a balloon animal? Only one I could do is a dog, and it never comes out good. So you can't make balloon no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about balloon animals either. I'm yeah. just not. I'm but not these versed. these things are all doable. Like they're like we'll be able to do a good amount of those. Yeah, hopefully I can eat a cricket soon. Knock that off my list. We could get the dick or balls too. Or probably in the same restaurant. Yeah, we could probably get them. Or- There's got to be a place in New York where you could eat some dick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, an animal dick. You could eat a regular dick, like probably right there. You could eat a dick. Yeah, that, that, you know that, that, that's that's easy. I got a dick you could eat. I got one for you. <laughs> um, but yeah. So a lot of these I think we can get done like yeah. pretty pretty we could paint our faces right now if we wanted to. I don't have any paint though. It's true. It's true. But I think I'm gonna look into that. Okay. I'm well ex- I'm excited about that. We have the year all planned out. We're yeah. really excited. Guys, we have a big twenty twenty planned. It's huge for uh you know, whatever. I'm not gonna make an announcement right now because I don't know if it'll be rolled out yet. But there is something coming. A big change yeah huge dude yeah a big change uh for the basement yard uh and it's not i'm not playing that up it's gonna be a big one yeah it's huge it's a big change for the basement yard yes um in a good way in a way that you guys would like because you i said i'm gonna say don't say it um but these people you guys are gonna lose your shit yeah 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 yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> um, we're gonna ride it in the sky. I yeah. think. Maybe we'll do that. Um, maybe we'll yeah, maybe that's how we'll do it. That's a lot of characters though. This is gonna be a pretty bad it's gonna be ten thousand dollars to make this fucking announcement. Nah, you can abbreviate a couple words. <laughs> we have to abbreviate all of them, dog. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yes. That is all uh, for our year. But, uh, yes, there is a giant, uh, like, announcement coming for the basement yard. Um, that's not something I'm making up. But I, I don't know what it's going to be, so I don't want to say it ahead of time. Yes. And um, also, uh, how much time? Where, where are we at? Uh, we had, uh, yeah, no, an hour and four minutes. Okay. Um, other thing, too, is uh, we want to thank everybody who contributed to uh, the Patreon. Dude, the Patreon. Yes. Um, I want to get to all these names. You know what I'm saying? Danny, phew, what a call there. The wheels are turning with that boy. It's insane. Um, but the patrons, um, we are we are changing up the Patreon. Yes. Um, that is for sure. I guess that's kind of part of the announcement in a way. That's kind of the first rollout. Not going to tell you exactly how we're going to do it, but we are going to do it. Okay? So we're going to knock out. That's how I lost my virginity, that exact sentence. Which one? I don't know how we're going to do it. But we're going to do it. Yeah. And she said that, not me. Yeah, she. Which, by the way, the girl that he's talking about wasn't uh, Liz Brink, Brinkmoller. Wasn't her at all. It wasn't, no? It wasn't Melissa Lambert I either. I thought it was Melissa Lambert. No. I thought I lost my virginity to her. No. You, oh. you, 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 know, you probably got her mixed up with Margot Espinosa, but it wasn't her either. No, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Give me another one? Yeah. Um, Awana Wan- Wanuka. Shit. Fuck that up. Yeah. That's, that's not her. No. We um, only kissed. Also, Tyler uh, Melnick, I think he was at the party. Yeah, but he graduated a year before me. I, that's the thing. But Amanda uh, per- Paris. Oh, Amanda was there. We we talked. Yeah, Amanda. She could really put him away. She drinks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she she. Yeah, Amanda's great. Do you remember back in high school that kid who was really good at football, but he, but like he had like, he was miss- he was issues? no he was missing his like ring finger. His name was like, uh, Caleb Sledge. Yes. Yeah, that was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, it's so crazy how we went. Sledgehammer. It's cra- Yeah, that's what we called him. Yeah. It's crazy how we went to high school with all these people. Remember yeah. Henry uh, Rathner? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid, the, um, that was the kid that stole the keg for out of the cop's car and brought it back to the party that night. Yes, and he like he was he was best friends with Krell Jensen, the kid who like always would eat sugar cookies. Yes, yes, and he was type one diabetic. Yeah, and we'd all laugh when he would fall asleep. Yeah, and but now look at me. It's yeah. It's so it comes full yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean that was something that Austin uh, Zerdredchek would uh, you know warn us about. Oh yeah, but Austin Austin was awesome about it. Yeah, All he was awesome cool. Austin. We called him. That's a, that's ex- yes, we called him awesome Austin. Yes, yes. and then there was uh, uh, we called him Tom, Tommy Connery, but that wasn't his name. It, no, his, no, no. His name no, was no, uh, no, Thomas. No, no, no. Uh, that was a character he would play. Yeah, this is Thomas uh, Kinnearney. That's that's the guy uh, I was thinking of. I knew it was Tommy something. Yeah, I knew I know. it was Tommy something. But yeah, those guys could all put them away. Those guys were great. Yeah, yeah. they just you know, uh, they were awesome. Remember prom night, dude? Yeah, dude, it was you, fucking you, sick. How you, do I not remember? I know you went to prom with uh, Maria Rose all, all of Stalter. Got that wrong, but you know Maria. it was a tough name. She never held it against me for not getting her name right. No, and she didn't get mad that I forgot a corsage either. So it was it was great. She was awesome to be with. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any, but it was okay because she was too hot for me. Right. I was just happy to say that, that she said yes because yeah. she, she was two years older than me. I asked. And I was a sophomore and I went to prom. I asked Jamie Zuber to go to prom, but she told me no, so I went with Alejandra Estrella I because mean, she was, you know, and actually it ended up being a better time. You yeah, know what I mean for sure. Yeah. And then like I, we Alejandra is awesome. Yeah, dude, and Adam and Devin Willen are just like some of the coolest guys because they knew I was upset, but they like kind of comforted me. Oh, the twins. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I don't think they were twins. I think they were just brothers. No, no, no. They were twins. Nah, they're not because I remember Joel. Uh, oh, Maine. You know, you know, you know what? They Joel were, Maine told me that. You know, they were they were brothers, but they looked so identical that we called them twins. That's what it was. And that's what he said. They lived on the same block as Mariam uh, Barucha. Oh, the dead. Oh, the cul-de-sac. In the cul-de-sac. Why'd you say dead? Oh, the dead, dead end. end. Dead oh, end. Oh, yeah. Not thought, in the dead cul-de-sac. Yeah, no, not dead. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I no. thought you were saying Kyle Gardner was dead. He's not dead. He's alive no. and kicking. You no, know no, what no, I mean? No. Kyle Gardner's a great guy. Dude. I know. And, dude, do you remember Jada Williamson? Do I remember Jada Williamson? Oh, the oh best? no, Wilhelmson. I'm sorry. I well, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. That's but, fine. Yeah. You know, we get those mixed up. Yeah. Remember that time she put all that tapioca pudding all over Mickle- Mr. Eckelman's head? Dude. Yeah. She's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I dared her. I didn't think she would do it. Dude, me and Dimitri Gonzalez were dying laughing that day. Oh, my God. Dimitri. He was always late. He was always late. Always late. Love yeah. bacon, egg, and cheese, too. Yeah. And, yeah. like, you know, Caitlin uh, McCulloch, she was, she, like, wore the same shirt, like, three days in a row, but, like, she was really cool. Yeah, but, like, I, she did it on purpose because, like, you know, she went through that phase, like, oh, I don't care about anybody. Yeah, her and Sydney Adams and Andrew Paris oh, and Tom was, Jones. They were always together. Yeah, Amanda Folland was in that group. Yeah, she she dabbled. Yeah, Nathan uh, Bra- Brander, Brander. Yeah. I forgot how to say his last what name. Was, what was that kid's name that was the school president? Uh, John Smiley. John Smiley. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I mean, we always used to tell him to smile. He would get angry. Yeah, because we're making fun of his name. Luisa yeah. R- uh, Ramos. She was treasurer. She was treasurer. Yeah, yeah exactly. Damn, and then, dude. What happened to all these people? I don't know, man. I'm trying to think about it. And like looking back on it, I'm like, yo, high school is so crazy, I man. Miss, I miss that, man. Yeah. And like Cody Perry also is just a person that, wow. you know, and it's uh, he again. Into, he got into some trouble. You know, that, right? just to say it again, like it's wild that we went to high school with all of these people who are now our. Our patrons on Patreon. Yeah, that's, just, some, that's a, you want to know that it is. It's a trip down memory lane, it's, and 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 it's just a testament to how good of people we were in high school. Yeah, and you just like you you lose connection with people. You 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 miss people like that Pinder Brar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and, of and, course. And listen, not for nothing, but I'm kind of excited to not see Gabe Slezak. Oh, I mean, you know, the sleaze, the sleaze. You know yeah, I mean, I could do, I could do without him. Yeah, like he, he was, you know, it was fun in high school, but he never turned it off. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah. Wore weird leather bracelets. Remember those? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you remember strange. the kid Miles? Uh, Ra- uh, the kid, uh, Miles Ramos, who wore the the. Was that the kid that got hit by the bus? No, no, no. You're talking. To, you're talking about uh, Paige Gillum. Paige got hit by the bus. That's right. She yeah, had to sit yeah. out of tennis. Yeah, and uh, uh, Leah. Bella View was was driving it. Actually, she had her commercial bus license. Oh uh, yeah, license. she had her CDL license. She had that CDL. Summer. That's what it's called. I forget. I remember. I remember. Forget what it's called. Yeah. Mackenzie Parma was like, in, was you know, she was deeply affected by that. She didn't come to school for a month. Yeah, yeah. She was always a bit dramatic though. Yeah, I know. It's she, crazy. Yeah, she was always kind of into herself. Yeah. Yeah, she wasn't like Camille uh, Amaral though. Oh, that Camille Am- What a salt of the earth. Yeah. 
great girl. I have a headache from how much we're talking right now. Oh god, she's yeah. fantastic. We also she's haven't great. eaten any food today, so that, that haven't had any food. Uh, you know, but it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Now that I think about it too, dude. I haven't had like a like a great meal since I was at Ryan McGregor's house. His mom oh, can cook. Mrs. Like, McGregor would throw down, dude. dude. Miss McGregor made crazy. And Roman come on Tiberius in, Digby. Come on in. I'll take care of you. Yeah. Roman Tiberius Digby used to come over, and he used to help make the soup. Yeah. And that used to be fire, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Luke uh, Riddler. I mean, what a guy. What can yeah. you say about Good him? Good linebacker. Yeah, he's a great linebacker. Yeah. Um, You know, wait, what was the name of the starting quarterback? What the fuck's his name? Chris McKay. Chris McKay. Chris McKay. And then John Kaminsky's in, he in went, the backfield. Yeah, he would have went. They both would have went to the league. They both didn't tear their ACLs in the same day in the same game while we were at the same place. Yeah. Colt Eckhoff, you know, if, if he doesn't tear his ACL, he's, he, you know, at, at minimum D2. Yeah. Hall of Famer, maybe. Yeah. You know, it's cool that we went to high school with so many cool people. Yeah. Faith Howell, you remember her? Yeah. Oh, how could you forget Faith? Gave my first hum, hum, hums. Oh my God! Did yeah, she? you knew that. You I didn't. Um, I don't remember. I thought. It, I thought it was uh, Alexandra Paro. No, that was the next summer. What about Brianna Whisper? Nah, we went. We just went to the same camp. Oh my God! Her name is Brianna Whisper. That's crazy. Oh, uh, McKenna Wright. Didn't she go to that camp? She did, but she. I went weeks two and four. She went weeks one and one and three. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. So yeah, we never yeah. really linked up. Um. Chicken Fist. That's just a na- that's just a name that's on here. Chicken Fist. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that, that's that not was, his real name. That was the homeless guy that used to walk around and like drag a stick along the fence while we played kickball. Well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was one of the most well painted scenarios I've ever done in my life because I could see it. The guy just holding the stick. <laughs> You're just staring at him while you're on first base. You're like, dude, this dude What is this likes- guy doing? What are you doing, sir? He just comes. He just picks up the ball in the middle of the game. And everyone just lets him. What's your name, man? Chicken Fist. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know who texted me yesterday? Jared Harris. Uh, did he? Yeah. How do you get your number? I don't know. I think he got it from Andrea Todoitschuk. Yeah. Are they still together? Not that I know. I remember seeing in college, like in college, she was dating Thomas Donaldson, I think. But she, they may have gotten back together. That's right. But that's I right. Know. I forgot about that. Yeah. Summer Rain. Oh my God, that's someone's real name. Yeah. No, I think I think that's her working name now. Her yeah, name is something she else. Just, I've seen those videos. Yeah. Her Summer name is Rain. something now. Something else now. I think it was. Uh, El- her- Elijah Lopez. No. No, but Elijah. Oh, Lo- Priscilla Canto. That was her real name. That was yeah. Priscilla Canto. Do you remember that kid? He like tried to run for president, but he was just so like, he would curse too much because he was like super Italian. He always had like slick back gelled hair. His name was like Antonio. F- Antonio Finocchio. Fino- uh, yes, yes, Junior. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. His dad was uh, head of waste management. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, Oh, do you remember Kendra Tut? Yeah, of course I do. Who wouldn't? Had the biggest tits in the class. That's what I'm saying. Kendra. Big old, big Kendra, we yeah, called her. Big titty Kendra. Big titty Kendra. Yeah. That's what we called her. Kendra. Big Ken. And then we had, you know, Samantha Gallagher. Obviously had the crazy cheeks. Yeah, crazy cheeks. Small little thing. Cute little pug. Yeah. Tom Lewis. There was always that rumor that he had like a giant dick. Yeah, yeah. No, there was the rumor that he could suck his own dick. Oh, oh, the giant dick was Mike Lath- uh, Latham. Yes. Mike. Yes. Well, that's confirmed. I saw it. Oh, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. The other thing I didn't say, I, n- I never saw him suck his dick. Which he was dating Kay Wilson. I think briefly, freshman year, I think. I don't know. They were always kind of weird. They never really said anything to me. Do you remember Miss Roberts? Of course I do. Joy Roberts? Yes. She's a patron of ours. It's insane. It's amazing. Her it's a, it's, and, and Mrs. Parkin. I thought Mrs. Mal- Parkin Melina died. Parkin. I Melina, thought, I Melina Parkin I thought was, she died. No, no, no. She's alive. She's hot. Oh, you know, it was her mother. Her her mom died. Yes, Chris, Chris uh, Christine Palladino. Yes, her mom. yes, they have different last names, of They're, course. Yeah, well, the dad. And then the, the brother ha- also has a different last name as well because there was a lot of stuff going on with their family. Half brothers. You know, her brother Colt. Uh, yeah. Colt Heel. Colt. Um, you Colt. Know. He was always kind of a. He was all right. He was cool. He used he, to hang out with that bad group, man. He yeah, had Adam yeah. Perry there. He had Eric Gonzalez. 
you know, Ashton Penrod. Yeah, a lot. He of, had these guys that like a lot of kids causing trouble. It's a lot of kids causing trouble. You know, I mean, the, you know, he was the nicest of them all. He was like the 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 Will Hunting of uh of and, that group. Yeah, that kid also uh, Jerry Rubin Bennett. You know, he was a good guy. Yeah, he he would real drama him, club. He, would he was him. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a, you know he's, when he's got two last names like that, he's kind of like he's grandfathered into the drama club. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, also George Hancock, great guy. His parents were loaded. Yeah, yeah. His parties at his house were the best. They had that floor that was invisible. Remember? I yeah, you could like see through. See right into, into the, the wine basement. cellar. Oh, yeah. the, the wine cellar. That's yeah, what it yeah, was. Yeah. But it not, wasn't as good as uh, Bruce Ridgeway's parties. Yeah, because Bruce Ridgway's parties were his parents were always out of town, and mm. I feel like it hurt him emotionally. But like he he supplemented it by having huge parties. Yeah, and like Sheila Vallejo, I one time I remember that she came to the party. She got too drunk. She fell asleep. She threw up all over his stairs. Yeah, remember that. Yes, and he and was. She fell down them, and 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 fucking uh, Alpha Penguin Thirteen had to cra- carry her out of there. Yeah, I do, and I was like, hey. Yeah, Alpha Penguin. Where are you going with her, man? He was like, "I'm just taking her home, dude." Yeah, and like Jameis Tilly was there. You know, Andre uh, Hunault and Janice Cybrian. Oh, that was the exchange student. Yeah, she was cool. She was all right. Yeah, couldn't really understand a goddamn word she was saying, but it was cool. Yeah, I know. And then uh, you know, Bader Al Sharhan was also at the party. That dude can drink like hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that guy was nuts. Yeah, not as nuts as Brandon Durek though. Yeah, because Brendan Dirk, like his dad, he never I've really had a fight. Dad. His dad, I've seen him fight his dad. Yeah, that's what it was. He got into a fight with his dad that one year, and he had to go to a different school, a vocational school. Yeah, to like learn how to be a oh, like a board. He's like, I'm gonna send you to a boarding school. Yeah, he like he be, learned how to be a mechanic when he was like 14. Yeah, yeah, and like what was that? <sighs> Dara Keith, she was an actual mechanic in high school. Yeah, she could fix anything. She I, grew up in a garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the thing about her. Um, used to call her Grease Bunny. Yeah, we used to call. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Um, yeah, you know what's crazy? We actually went through all of those names. Did we really? Yeah. Wow. There was like eighty of them. Well, yeah, I mean, it's my best high school days of my life. I'll never forget high school. I'll never forget the time with, that me, with that those me, people that me and you went to the same high school together. Same age. Same age. Three years apart now. Three years apart now. Somehow. Uh, you uh, got left back a few. Yeah. 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 And then we partied with all those people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to all the patrons. They're the best. You know, you're the best. Um, water Project. Oh, yeah. Well, the Water Project was a success. Um, you guys are awesome. We raised a bunch of money this month for the Water Project, uh, which is, you know, on behalf of San Agato Studios, all the podcasts and content that we're coming out with. We took all the Patreon money, and we're building as many wells as we can in Africa. Also, I want to say something about that, but first I'm going to get to the good part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know what you're going to say, and I'll yep. back you up. So I'm going to get loud later. but So uh, we were able to build two, um, and we're going to continue to do that. For sure. Um, they're pretty expensive. Like I think they were like – the first one was $10,000, and the next one was like 8000 um, but we're, whatever the remaining money is, we're just going to donate to towards a project instead of just paying for an outright full project. Um, so all the money is going to be donated. But one thing I want to say Get him. is that when I did post about that, we're going to be doing this and, and building wells in Africa, I got shit from people who are like telling me that like, Oh, what about this? Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water. Yeah. yeah. So that was one of them. But it wasn't just Flint, Michigan. It was like other places. Like, oh, you know, we got a we got a homeless problem in, in this state or whatever. And I'm like, I can't fix the world today. Yeah. But how can you get mad at me for trying to do something nice for people? Also, they're children. They're children. Yeah, they're children. Who have to hike miles to get water. We, we're donating to help children drink water. Yeah, like, dude, give me a break. Like, I get Take that it easy. Flint, Michigan has a problem. Obviously, yes, they do. And I would love to help out someday. But just because I'm helping a specific group doesn't mean that you get to be like, oh, but th- yeah, this is cool and everything. Good try. But Flint doesn't have. I'm like, dude. Yeah, well, also, Flint, Michigan is uh, part of a country called the uh, United States of America. So. Talk to your local politicians about getting that. Not only that, but I pay taxes. That money's got to help eventually. All I'm saying. Oh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. 
So, so anyone out that there was kind of bullshit. Anyone out there is trying to make Joe feel bad about having everybody at the studio be a part of this thing and help kids drink water in countries in Africa. You're a fucking moron. <laughs> okay? He won't say it, but I'll say it. No, I'll say it. Piece you're, of shit. You're a fucking moron. All yeah. right? And uh, I hope that you never listen to the show again uh, because that kind of st- stupidness will not be tolerated here. All right? Yeah, only, next, only the, we get to be stupid. Yeah, and the next thing I'm going to build is a ladder up to your window. I'm going to come through your window. I'm going to punch you right in the nose. Okay? And he's going to kiss you against your yeah. your will. Yes. Lightly. Yes. Lightly yes. tap yeah. you on the lips. Yeah. And then I'm going to build a well in your bathroom. How's that? Yeah. And you're yeah. going to have to drink out of yeah. that. Yeah. Shit in your well. Yeah, fuck you. And that's all. Happy New Year, everybody. And Happy New Year. Okay? Woo! So, Danny, where can they find you this year? You can find me at Danny LoPriori on Twitter and Instagram. And please make sure to go check out the Stank Podcast on Instagram at the Stank Podcast. And then go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash the Stank Podcast. We're posting great content on there now. Something drops every Wednesday. Q&As, hot takes, me and Frankie just being clean boys or maybe dirty boys. Going to have to find out. Um, and other than that, I'm good. <laughs> Fuck, I'm <saying> that. <laughs> clean boys, maybe dirty boys. Um Guys, go check out Other People's Lives, which is another podcast on the San Diego Studios Network, uh, where me and Greg uh, call up strangers anonymously and have pretty cool conversations. Um, I think we're in between seasons right now, but you can go back and listen to old episodes that are really cool. Um, so go check that out. And go follow the San Diego Studios account at San Diego Studios on Instagram and the Basement Yard on Instagram if you haven't already. And that is all. See you guys next time. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year.